ऑल प्लीज जल्दी से ज्वाइन हो जाइए हमारे लाइफ पर क्योंकि आज की गेस्ट जो है वो बहुत स्पेशल है बहुत प्यारी सी है और बहुत ही नॉलेजेबल है यू नो इतना सब कुछ उन्हें पता है इतनी छोटी सी एज में यार शी इज हियर विद अस चलिए जल्दी से उन्हें इनवाइट सेंड करते हैं सो यस सेंडिंग हर इनवाइट शी विल बी विद अस सोन गाइस देयर इज एन अपडेट दैट तनु इज नॉट विद अस टुडे ड्यू टू हेल्थ इश्यूज बट इट्स ओके वी विल विल डू इट हाय रिद्धिमा हाउ आर यू Hi. Hi. Am I audible? Visible? Everything? Uh, yeah, you are visible. You are audible. Kind of breaking in between, but I guess it oh. should work. Okay. Instagram is playing with us as usual. So, थोड़ा सा time लगेगा settlement के लिए. So, Radhima. Uh, so today, Tanu is not with us. We are the team of two, and unfortunately, due to health issues, she is not with us. on the screen but yes of course of the screen she is here so come on quickly join us guys so she is here the vidma pande so who is she she is one of the person or a child that any parent can dream of she is just a teenager might she just just a teenager and still have already written the destiny for herself you know chhota packet bada dhamaka i have to say because you know उन्होंने इतना काम कर लिया इतनी छोटी सी एज में कि इतने बड़े बड़े कारनामे कर दिए हैं आज इनकी पूरी जर्नी पूरी जर्नी हम डिस्कस करेंगे कैसे इन्होंने सब कुछ अचीव किया एंड यू नो शी इज इंस्पिरेशन यूथ आईकॉन अवार्ड विनर क्लाइमेट एक्टिविस्ट एंड व्हाट नॉट बट ऑन टॉप ऑफ दैट लेट मी जस्ट टेल यू ऑन टॉप ऑफ दैट एन इंडियन स्टार अ स्टार हु इज शाइनिंग हु इज जस्ट मेकिंग आवर कंट्री प्राउड एंड वी आर सो ग्लैड टू हैव यू विद अस रिदिमा वी आर सो प्रिविलेज दैट यू हैव जस्ट सेड यस टू अस सो वेलकमिंग यू ऑल विद हर या रिदिमा वेलकम आ थैंक यू सो मच थैंक्स फॉर हैविंग मी या रियली ग्रेट टू बी हियर so hum bahut time pehle se plan kar rahe the but finally 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 today is the date <laughs> ki aaj humne live kiya so moving on not a further delay baat karte hain aapki journey start kaise hui you know maine abhi thoda sa kuch suna tha aapke reel mein aapke content mein that uh, there was a flood in 2013 right तो वो mm-hmm. आपको mm-hmm. बहुत ज्यादा इफेक्ट किया था उसी से ही आपने सोचा चेंजेस आए जस्ट शेयर योर इनपुट्स ऑन दैट कैसे ये सब कुछ आपने किया mm-hmm. um, तो आई कैन से कि मेरी जर्नी स्टार्टेड बैक इन 2013 तो 2013 जब केदारनाथ फ्लैश फ्लैट हुए दैट वाज द टाइम जब आई वाज क्लूलेस एट माय हाउस मुझे नहीं पता था क्लाइमेट चेंज क्या था ग्लोबल वार्मिंग क्या है एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम सो आई मीन बेसिकली आई वॉज जस्ट एंजॉइंग माय लाइफ नॉट रोली नोइंग द थ्रेट दैट यू नो इज लिंगरिंग अराउंड माय लाइफ और जब फ्लैश फ्लड हुआ तब बिकॉज मेरे फादर उस टाइम पे वाइल्ड लाइफ कॉन्जर्वेशन के लिए काम करते थे तो ही वेंट टू केदारनाथ टू रेस्क्यू एनिमल्स और oh. मतलब मेरे पेरेंट्स स्टार्टिंग से ही मतलब uh, काफी ज्यादा वे न्यूज चैनल्स और ये सारी चीजें मतलब चौबीसों घंटे मेरे घर पे टीवी इफ टीवी इज ऑन इट्स गोइंग टू बी आई द न्यूज चैनल और आई द समथिंग इन्फॉर्मेटिव व्हेन माय पेरेंट्स आर वाचिंग इट तो उस टाइम पे भी शी वाज माय मॉम वाज वॉचिंग लाइक द न्यूज ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन एंड माई डैड वेन दैट यू रेस्क्यू दिटिंग एट माई हाउस बेसिकली वॉचिंग द टेलीविजन बट नॉट नोइंग वॉट हैड हैपन तो उस टाइम पे मुझे ये भी नहीं पता था फ्लैश फ्लैट्स क्या होता है तो आई वॉज लाइक वेरी क्लोजलेस सिटिंग एट माई प्लेस एंड बी लाइक ये हुआ कैसे मतलब हाउ डिड दिस बिग डिस्ट्रक्शन हैपन एंड इज इट इवन पॉसिबल कि तब इतना डिस्ट्रक्शन हो सकता है Hmm. and i can say that was the point of time when my parent my mom was like you know she told me what a flash flood was and you know how cl- cloud burst happened and you know what happened at kedarnath and at the same time in the news channels as well you saw those uh, you know you see those clippings of uh, kids and people crying 
कि दे कैंट फाइंड देयर फैमिली मेंबर्स और देयर हाउसेस यू नो बिकॉज सब कुछ तो टूट गया था एंड एट द सेम टाइम दे डोंट नो व्हाट नेक्स्ट दे गोना डू एंड फॉर द एडल्ट्स दे वर नॉट एबल टू फाइंड देयर पेरेंट्स लाइक ओल्ड पेरेंट्स एंड एवरीथिंग um so i mean seeing all those things and then listening to what had happened there and then my when my dad came back on pictures jo animals the matlab unke jaise chote lagi hui thi aur listening the stories ki unke owners jo the wo they still wanted money to unka basic uh, funda kya tha even if it was uh, you know there were worms on their wounds of the animals they were not treating it they were just basically using them for money aur us time pe because people wanted to get down to khachas ki kafi zyada zarurat bhi thi so it was just a total mess out there to wo sari pictures dekhna and all wo sari cheeze dekhna is i can say you know it had a big impact on me and i started having these nightmares ki um i died because of a flash flood or i simply lost my parents or it's just that my house is under water or is it just that i am under water or there might be this scenario because mere ko bina glasses ke i can't see so having this uh, nightmare and having this anxiety when jab bhi barish hoti thi ki the cloud is going to burst abhi fatega abhi fatega abhi fatega and i used to have my specs on 24/7 because i was so scared that if i sleep and i take my glasses off and suddenly if the cloud bursts you know i wouldn't be able to see so how would i run and most of the times you know my mom still still tells me that i used to have my stuff with me like the things that i really like just because in case if the flood flood happened i i'd had you know all the things that i have want and I, how can i run and specifically even till today aaj tak bhi i am very scared of like um uh rain specifically and not like typical rain but yeah jab badal gharajta hai specifically at night i just get this anxiety from inside even till today i feel like bus cloud burst now but i know it's not something you know ki if the if thundering is happening or you know if the uh, it's making sound it's gonna burst but it's still bachpan se wo cheez ab mere andar hai ki i get scared whenever it's raining and that was sort of is what you know um had me sort of dig into this issue because having those nightmares i was very stressed up being a 5 year old 6 year old at that point of time having constant nightmares of dying was a real struggle and then after a point of time i can say um after being uh, you know after struggling with all those things for a while i just went to my parents and i was like mujhe floods rokna hai i don't want to die someday or i don't want to lose you guys and that sort of is when i can say uh you know my parents told me in terms of what climate change and global warming was and Uh, I still remember my mom telling me how climate change or how the entire global warming works, and she told me that uh, it was because of our, our human emissions. So I was like, "Thamara emissions? How is it related?" Because me really, at that time, pe only cars used to emit. So I was okay. like, "Ki acha ham car drive kar rahe hain aur emissions ho raha hai, se temperature kaise badh raha hai aur aur to itni badi hai to." I had so many questions that Lots I just wanted questions. to learn more. yeah and i start, just started learning gradually and i learned about child rights and how they've been violated and you know how the old generation is treating the crisis as how they're treating my rights as and you know all those things and it's just that you know after seeing all those things for a while i just realized that i have to do something for myself and for my generation just to in order to survive and i just realized at that point of time that no one else was going to raise voice for me and for my generation and that was really sad but yeah that sort of is what made me um take action and that sort of is made me who i am today yeah definitely 2013 was the toughest year i would say kyunki sab logon ne itna zyada crisis dekha hai directly koi impact hua ya nahi hua but i'm sure unke mm-hmm. relatives और फर्स्ट रिलेटिव्स तो इम्पैक्ट हुए थे यस सो मैं ये देख रही हूँ आपके बात सुनने के बाद कि कैसे एक छोटे बच्चे की साइकोलॉजी पर इम्पैक्ट आता है व्हेन वी आर गोइंग थ्रू क्राइसिस कितने सारे क्वेश्चंस एनजाइटी अ चाइल्ड हैज टू फेस राइट सो रिदिमा जब आपने ये स्टार्ट किया ठीक है आप आप इतने सारे एनजाइटी से निकले सब कुछ हुआ देन यू जस्ट टूड अप ओके आई डू समथिंग नाउ हियर How was your parent, uh, uh, you know, took this? कैसे उन्होंने सोचा कि नहीं अच्छा अभी ठीक है ये करना चाहते हैं बट उन्होंने सपोर्ट किया एंड सपोर्ट किया तो आई मीन इन वॉट वे आई मीन आई कैन से सिंस दिगेनिंग माई पेरेंट्स वेर रॉली वेरी सपोर्टिव आई जस्ट टेक इट दिस वे की वेन आई आस्ट दम की 
why the floods are happening at the very first place my mom could have been ki ye to natural phenomena hai floods to hota hai they could have been this way but they told me what flash what climate change was at that point of time like yes, being a 6 definitely. or 7 year old telling your 7 year old what climate change basically is is a vast topic and you know just making me understand what uh, global warming was and then throughout when i learned what global warming was uske baad se fir till i was capable of learning myself answering all my questions and you know not being frustrated um i can say my parents have been someone who had been like you know those who have been there for me like every single time because even till today uh, they are the ones who guide me in terms even if i have a call i mean i i do a, like sort of um do stuff on my own but all the time matlab i have this thing that i have to ask them in terms of their opinions and i can say specifically because there are like both of my parents are from the same field like conservation like forest and wildlife i feel like they do have very vast knowledge specifically my dad he has been working in this field for like last 20 years so he has a lot of knowledge within this field so it's just like you know if if i start talking to him he can just go on and on for like hours and I we know. have to be like okay it's time we take a break so yeah my parents have been like really really supportive and i can say if, it's just that you know if they wouldn't have told me what climate change was i wouldn't have been an activist i would have been a person or kid who might have learned about this today not really knowing what to do at, like at this point of time and just being clueless like many of the other kids are like right now knowing climate change and you know not really even, understanding even, it even way. even the parents i would say uh, do you think that your parents are above from that field the forest field so they have the idea about all this and uh, how our environment is going uh, through crisis but if someone i mean the parents the generation that we are having uh, they are not from that field so uh, they are not able to teach our children um i can say even i've seen you know many people being in the same field uh, in which my parents are but they never really tend to teach their kids you know mm-hmm. the importance of the environment or the wildlife or you know uh, why it needs to be conserved and you know at the same time why is it important for them to respect it you know why is it important for uh, you know you being a human why is it important for you to respect the other animal so for example right now you might have seen you know that video surfacing on the internet you know of a, a tigress who got shot um yes. basically near poverty area and i was like how is it even possible you know and that sort of is that shows how you know the adults are not aware of you know that you have to respect those beings as well they have a right to live as well regardless if they have their own voices or not and i feel like um these days specifically um i feel like each or every single person you know most of the people do know about what climate change is i mean then other aspects do come in terms of you know from which community you mean if they are from less privileged communities they might not know about that but you know i can say parents from you know um like uh, middle class and everything you know most of the pe- uh, people you know uh, whom we categorize as educated people they know about the crisis but the thing is that to we see in terms of teaching their like their children that you have to study you have to earn money and you know you have to just just, just you know filling things like you know earning money is the only thing yeah. having big house and you know living in luxury is what you really need you know they 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 busy better. teaching their kids yeah. these things yes yeah, just to be yeah, said i feel in like that's like. sort of is you know this diverse yeah. mhm and i feel yeah. like you know um the education needs to be uplifted a lot from the house itself and from the schools itself as well okay so you have already attended uh, many uh, seminars at uh, i mean out of the country also so how difficult is uh, you know for you to talk about our country's environment condition in front of the world I mean, is it difficult things get difficult um i mean not really because people have seen i mean not because uh, people have seen the paper work so i mean they know that our country is suffering a lot because they do see news of flash floods and you know droughts and everything heat waves but the thing is when it comes to you know how the government has been acting or how the actions have been going on 
they are like okay we know what's happening you know your tr- country is trying but then as an activist you know it's very difficult to make them understand the ground reality and make them realize that what you see on the papers is not what is going mm-hmm. on on the ground and you know that's what we have to change so the most difficult part of you know making people understand out of india the condition of like the only thing that is difficult for them to understand is how can the paperwork be so different from the ground reality and you know um sort of telling them the entire agenda of you know even when the people and the government and the policy makers work and talk about climate crisis you know they have this entire agenda behind them and you know i've seen people saying that you know the 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 leaders make such a great speeches and i'm like at the very end it's just the speech it's not the action that you know that they're taking so and we need action so i feel yes. like you know it's it's uh, like it gets tough making them see the reality but um rather than that i can say um people do know what's happening in india and they know how bad people are struggling here and how badly you know our country has been impacted by climate change as well yeah chale baat karte hain education system ki as we know ki kitna hi practically hum log padhai ke bare mein baat karte hain environmental science ek evs we do study maine bhi padha hai aapne bhi padha hai aap bhi pad rahe ho right but that is way beyond what we are facing right now right koi bhi practical usme knowledge nahi hai kuch bhi aap ground pe ja ke bachcho ko koi bhi aisa assignments nahi dete ho ki theek hai this is the problem just find out the ways it's not practically approached so what's your take on the education system what, what are your suggestions for the government um i can say uh basically right now our education system is just mark things up give your exams go to the next class and you don't even remember what you studied in the earlier grade and Best. i have been through this and the the very worst thing is no one really wants i mean the kids don't want to learn um the teachers don't want to teach them something extra outside True. the books it's just and a it's business it's just that you know, kids are yeah and and you know having such a burden just studying your books and everything you know it's just it gets scary for the kids even to even even think of you know that okay environment studying about environment climate crisis we might get another book you know included in our syllabus and you, we might have to give exams so i feel like you know the ed- education system you know it does need many changes in terms of where it is right now but rather than that uh, talking about uh, environmental aspect and you know talking about uh, education you know about climate change or about global warming or about you know even sustainable development or living a you know um, sort of like you know minimalistic life and everything i feel sure. like you know if this is these are the things which kids learn from the schools from you know since since a uh, child since their childhood i feel like it can really change things you know because um and at the same time you know not only just learning but uh, making sure that they those things to get incorporated within their lifestyle is something i feel like that really needs to be done and i feel like you know um not having it as a subject but having it something which is the uh, you know um mandatory for teachers to teach but at the same time you know having it in a creative way say for example taking kids to a field trip and you know taking it to yeah. them to a like a place which was rehab say for example it was a deserted land and now you know people have rehabilitated to a you know a garden or something and you know taking it to a recharged a lake or something or you know taking them to a place which was greener before and now it's just a mess uh, you know uh, and you know deforestation has happened and you know uh, just making them see the reality and how things are working and you know giving them an outlook of what's happening and then at the same time you know sort of having um, interactive um, sort of like you know having um, fun sessions with them and you know having um, sort of uh, things which are um, i don't know how to put that but you know it's sort of making it uh, interesting for kids to to come then cells and you know join those kind of things because we do have different clubs within schools as well but mostly kids are interested in only sports because that's something which we feel you know it's it's fun you know so having things um in a way that it gets interesting for the kids they learn they enjoy doing it and you know just make it this way that you know if we do have a particular day a particular class 
just talking about environment or climate change or you know biodiversity con- conservation kids would be like you know i just want to be there or you know it should just be like you know how we attend basically these days what happens is that you know uh, we attend schools when we have like two or three sports classes a day so you know ha- having kids just attend the school just for that class sort of making it interesting so that you know kids kids try to learn more and you know just try to engage more but yeah you know for that to go to that level we need something that needs to be come, that needs to come within our education system so yeah True. i feel like you know it's 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 a really very complicated but i really feel that you know it should be incorporated from the childhood for for the kids like for all grades regardless if they are in 11th grade or if they are you know just in uh, pre nursery or something like that just so that they learn it from the very yes. grassroots level and they learn it till the very end of their school life well said ritima the point is what we think is the ki environment se related education or practical knowledge or just to give them the idea what's going you know what's going on ye sabse zyada important hai aur education system mein isi ko sabse last rakh rahe hain you know hum maths padhte hain hum english padhte hain hum hindi padhte hain hum sab subject padhte hain aur fir hum usi mein score karne mein lag jate hain but the basic thing ki unko wo message pass on hi nahi hota hai उनको पता ही नहीं होता है यू you नो know, बहुत सारे कम बहुत सारे कम बच्चे हैं जो आपकी तरह सोचते होंगे शायद दे आर जस्ट यू नो वेरी लेस ओके आई होप सो कि कितनी नॉलेज आपको मिली है आपके पेरेंट्स से काश हमारे एजुकेशन सिस्टम से हमारे और बच्चों को मिल पाए वी कैन हैव मोर रिदम आज इन आर कंट्री सो दैट आर प्लान अर्थ कैन सर्वाइव ना मूविंग ऑन my next question is related to your strike right friday for future what a beautiful title iske bare mein aap mujhe bataiye mm-hmm. thoda <laughs> um basically i'm not a part of uh, fridays for future as such but i do attend strikes so fridays for future uh, greta ne start kiya back in 2019 if i'm not wrong and she just started alone just like me she had this thought ki bhai things are happening in a wrong way and she just took a placard went outside the parliament and just sat there with her uh, i guess the the placard that she had and saying friday so future and i feel like it really caught people's attention there and i can say i mean in the beginning uske sath bhi it was just like you know ki she was doing stuff par log utna attention nahi de rahe the but dheere dheere uh, things started surfacing and she started you know trending and you know more and more kids started joining her and then after just a few months i can say other branches like fridays for future india or different uh, the fridays for future and they it just started going like crazy i can say and that was the best part of it and i can say it's basically what happens is that uh, i guess most of the people here might already know that on fridays we basically have strikes it could be like a huge strike that you know most of the times happen but it could be a small strike as well just having few friends at your house or just you know going around your area or having like a like a, if you have a nicer entire group or if you things go well planned for you then having like you know the kids of your entire city coming together at one yeah. place you know or having some spots at your city so it's easier for you know the people to join and abhi covid mein we had it online or tab i was very active on that but these days i mean I, i do take part on strikes if i am like somewhere near but i've never i've not been to a strike for a while now or sath hi sath i mean uh, we also have this uh, global strike jab we have this one particular day which is like global strike so it's just like you know massive strikes happen uh, throughout just not only in india but throughout everywhere in each and every country and it just gets very very massive and i still remember mm-hmm. maine apni pehli strike new york mein attend kari thi uh, jab main un gayi thi aur main tab se lekar ab tak i never been to that big strike in like even till now or i still remember uh, kyunki us time pe i was not really fond of strikes or you know all those things so i was just blown away matlab main usko process nahi kar payi thi seeing that many people on ground like on streets specifically for climate action i was like is it even possible and i just started seeing people and kids in india 
you know being that way though in india the movement is spreading and there are a lot many like many many youths those who are working but still i can say the numbers are still very less in terms of you know what it should have been our population and everything and seeing how yeah. it is impacting our country but still i mean something is happening so i would say something yes. is better than nothing nothing yes the very end yes that that the same feeling is here okay now abhi maine aapka reel dekha aaj hi jo shayad aapne post kiya hai aur aap reality check de rahe hain hamari generation ko humse pehle ki generation ko that what we have done to the next generation so are you uh, feeling some uh, do you have uh, that feeling somewhere in you that you are just representing your generation and you are there for uh, you know to just give the reality check to uh, our older generation and it is necessary to give them um your voice did break for me so i don't know if i got the yeah. question right my But question was like, like um, do you have that yeah. kind of feeling in you that you are the one who is uh, you are the one uh, who someone just giving the reality check to the older generation and how necessary it is i mean i feel like uh, i can say i try my best to reach out to the older generation and make them realize what they've done wrong and you know i try to give these reality checks everywhere i go when i know there is people from the old generation um but i feel like you know rather than just giving reality checks a lot more needs to be done so i i yes there is a network issue yes 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 Ah, okay okay um so i feel like you know i i try to give reality check to the older generation but at the very end i feel like you know the thing that matters the most is them realizing their mistake after the reality check or after you know the talk that i gave or the other children's even gave and you know understanding that okay i am responsible i should be the one taking action i should do this i should cut down my emissions to like you know in in this way or in that way and sort of understanding and realizing their mistake and analyzing things and then start in working on you know making things better but i've never seen that happening i've never seen uh, people you know um moving forward than just saying okay we are very inspired i've never seen people going one step further than that so i can say i mean i do try my best to give the reality checks and you know just make them work and you know make them take action but at the very end they just all end up saying okay you're doing a great job we need more kids like you you are going to be the one you know paving the way in the future and i'm like i don't want be i don't want to be the one you know just paving the way i want you guys to take your responsibility and you know start yeah, working true it's not the mess that i created and it's not something that i can solve on my own but yeah um i feel like it is really really very necessary because at the very end they are the only ones who can solve these problems because people from the older generations are the one you know um running factories and you know corporations and running even you know being being government they are the ones those who are running the governments they are the ones who are electing the governments as well and they are the ones who have this power of coming together collectively and just making things better and you know if the government is doing something wrong making just coming together and you know just making them realize that this is what is wrong and this is what needs to be done or next time you won't be elected so i feel like you know at the very end we kids have the only power that we have in our hand is to make them realize their mistake and to do just like you know if they're doing things wrong and they're not understanding then taking some actions like legal actions on them that's the only thing that we can do creating awareness doing our best changing our lifestyles and then taking a few actions like you know writing out letters and you know having petitions but that's all i can say we can do i mean we i at the very end it's going to be the governments those who are going to make the decisions and at the very end it's going to be the people those who vote so like the older generation those who are going to implement or impact those uh, sort of you know decisions on ground so i feel like you know they have a lot power in their hands so they do need to realize what's happening and they do have to realize how in a bad way they in a bad direction they're going and how bad it is impacting their kids as well yeah so the in our environment everything has been spoiled the air is dirty 
right the soil is polluted the water bodies are suffering you know we have like lots of lots of litter on beaches everything is a problem mm-hmm. right now plastic is a problem like, you know we are fa- facing lots of crisis so according to you which is the most dangerous thing we are facing right now and from where we can uh, you know just start to start from where mhm i mean i feel like i've never been able to answer this question correctly because i feel like you know when it comes to the problem i feel like you know when it comes to the air pollution i feel like you know so for example this around this time it was something you know which was a major problem for people in delhi or cities around or for people in mumbai um and when it comes to like air pollution it could be a problem to those you know it could be a major problem for those those who don't have like water purifiers and those who are dependent on water bodies independently not having a like you know proper system to clean those uh, that water and at the same time when it comes to like soil pollution or you know ground water depletion and all those things like ground water uh, like pollution and all those stuff i feel like that's a major issue that's a major problem for people like farmers and you know um for the frontline communities and specifically this entire crisis is something which is a big problem to the frontline communities and to the poor communities so i feel like um there every single problem is you know a major problem for certain group of people in terms of how it is impacting them but the major problem that i feel i see in india right now is negligence like knowing the problem and then yeah. even then not working on the solution and you know even when they're knowing um climate change is happening and they know it is their mistake but feeling okay about that and not really feeling that urge to that i have to do something is what i feel like um is one of the biggest problem in india you know this this uh, ignorance and this negligence and this uh um sort of uh, attitude of someone else will do it is something which yes. is a really big problem in india and once we get a solution for that once people start taking actions and once people you know start shifting towards you know living a nicer life you know more um sort of um sustainable life and you know just taking out that this is how my actions are impacting the people and this is what i should do i feel like all these other problems say for example water pollution or air pollution or you know uh the groundwater depletion and everything i can we can solve all this because that's sort of is you know why that's you know that's the root cause those problems are the root cause of these bigger problems and at the very end to the climate crisis itself as well true well said i mean that is the only problem we are facing lack of actions so snai sansa mm-hmm. is asking what is the best thing we can start to do to prevent global warming somehow Mm-hmm. i mean i i feel like um say for example global warming itself is something which is a natural phenomena i mean i've been trying to put things this way because i mean earlier we were like you know stopping global warming and there were so many people those who were like you know you can't stop global warming because it's a natural phenomena so yeah just making it clear global warming is a natural phenomena it can't be stopped but you know it just has been our actions which has made it accelerate to this level that it shouldn't have been today so i mean things shouldn't have been like this in this year you know it should have taken so many decades for us to have reached uh, you know specifically these conditions and even not even these conditions because this is something you know which we are destroying um and global warming is something which is really different so i feel like you know to stop or to you know limit the global warming i feel like you know the best thing for you is to like very first thing is to educate yourself about what it is how it is happening and then sort of analyzing how your actions are impacting because it could be that you know you might be someone who might be using cars very often so you know just just trying to use a uh, public transport or using uh, bicycles but then again you know the problem comes of you know we don't have proper public transportation in our country we don't have proper lanes for cycles but that's something different and yeah at the same time you know the best thing is to create awareness amongst other because we need more and more people to realize what is happening 
and you know how climate change is impacting other people and then you know making them realize that this is how their actions are impacting the other poor communities or even themselves you know because i feel like humans tend to work more towards the problem when they know it's going to impact them say for example we were you know so stressed out about covid-19 because we knew it's going to impact us and we are eventually going to die if we don't take the precautions if we don't live cautiously and that is it's kind of like you know the exact same thing with climate change as well though it's a slow process but at the very end eventually we all we all are going to die because of climate change uh, you know in one way or the other so you know taking actions on those things as well and yeah i mean at the very same time i can say just just doing your best could be something that you can start up with and gradually you will just understand the problems and you will naturally you know things would come up to you that i should do this i should work on this or i should work on this problem i should work with this people or like how you should go on and on but yeah the very first thing could be just like you know educating yourself and your community and starting from little starting from your own lifestyle and then uh, like sort of uh, motivating others to do the same yeah lots of suggestions you just have to follow guys so uh, apart from environment talk let's know rhythm a little more <laughs> ओके तो थोड़ा सा रिदिमा का थोड़ा और जानते हैं थोड़े पर्सनल क्वेश्चंस पूछते हैं लिटिल बट सरप्राइजिंग एलिमेंट क्विक क्वेश्चंस और रिदिमा यू जस्ट हैव टू आंसर ओके माय फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज डू यू रीड आई डू आई हैव टू बिकॉज़ आई हैव टेकन साइंस सो आई रीड अ लॉट व्हिच वन इज योर फेवरेट बुक my favorite i mean i don't really read stories and fiction i only read my biology physics chemistry and my <laughs> notes so nothing is my favorite so far it's just that i have to do it <laughs> oh my god the wrong question to a student right what do you read <laughs> okay okay i can totally get it not because i had the same phase or mere paas bhi science thi bio thi to सेम 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 आई कैन गेट बहुत सारे डायग्राम्स माइंड में रहते हैं सो आई टोटली गेट इट फाइनली आर यू फूडी सॉरी आर यू फूडी अ फूड लवर um kind of but uh, okay. lately as i've tried a lot of things i'm just very cautious in terms of what i eat now because i mean i've i've been i, I just i was uh, in home so i just ate things that we usually eat in india then i went to rome and i had this only pasta and pizza phase and then i went to thailand and then <laughs> it was a completely different thing for me so now i am just stick to dal roti chawal and that's that's basically it but i do like trying new stuff but i make it with my twist because i'm scared trying it outside and you know not liking it and ending up wasting the entire thing but yeah i do like trying different stuff i i can and say i try my best <laughs> what is your favorite food um my favorite has been uh, i can say i've been like right now i've come into this phase of rajma chawal where i just really like that thing but yeah rather than that i really like you know some of the things like pahadi stuff you know, when you know what my mom cooks and what i eat when i go to my great grandmas that's something that i really like and that i really enjoy but yeah i mean casually occasionally i really like rajma chawal these days okay now best compliment till date you received uh i don't know i mean it, it gets really awkward when people comment <laughs> like compliment me not comment <laughs> um but i feel uh, uh the best thing is i don't know the best comment could be i mean recently the the best compliment that i get i got from my mom was that it's okay you're doing your best um to just keep on going so i was like i just really needed that because within with studies uh-huh. and with what was going on they just saying you're doing your best it's going on great or you're doing great was something which i really loved from my mom so yeah i i can only remember that i don't really remember what else great you know compliments people might have given me but yeah i mean people do really you know appreciate me a lot but yeah the most common compliments is that you're so young you're doing really great but yeah that gets you know gets you to a that awkward situation where you don't really know how to respond to those but yeah 
but the close one is from your mom okay so yeah. what do you do in your spare time um basically i don't know why but i'm a very lazy person usually because you are like lazy. most of yeah, the time i, I have can't to believe be. this you, you can't be lazy <laughs> <laughs> I mean when I have free time I'm basically I I just I can't really get myself started so even in the morning I just want those 5 more minutes I I just can't <laughs> wake up until my mom shouts from the kitchen that you're going to get late for the school so yeah I mean I'm 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 very lazy kind of I'm like a very slow person I eat very slow I get dressed very slow and I can't process a lot of things at once So when I have my free time I either be sleeping or I might either just you know talk to my friend like family members because I do that very less these days and yeah at the very end I just play with my cats when I'm free but most of the time I'm just sleeping the entire time I'm free like on Sundays I'll just be sleeping the entire day my god a lazy student is a climate activist <laughs> okay are you back Yes so i was saying uh our mm-hmm. lazy student is a climate activist it's hard to believe <laughs> okay yeah it's so hard to believe as well your favorite destination or place you would love to go um i mean i have traveled a lot that now i mean these days my favorite destination has been my great grandma's place um in uttarakhand because i mean i'm i'm just dying to go there and i'm just not getting the time but yeah i mean my favorite destination these days has been my great grandma's place or else when i'm traveling the best place is just when i'm going to reach the home so the, like the best destination is my best is my bed but when it's not my bed these <laughs> days it's my great grandma's place okay ultimately your home where you are around with your family yeah i'll go okay. टीवी टीवी देखते हो रदमा टीवी देखने का टाइम है कभी कभी थोड़ा थोड़ा आई मीन टीवी में आई डोंट रियली फाइंड एनीथिंग टू बी ऑनेस्ट सो इट्स जस्ट मोस्ट ऑफ टाइम्स मूवीज वॉच व्हाट सॉरी हाँ देर नेटवर्क इशू पार्डन प्लीज ये विच टीवी सीरीज वर यू टॉकिंग अबाउट that you watch um i watch like marvel i i watch marvel movies marvel. <laughs> that's what i do okay. so in okay. okay. black okay. panther and kanda that's what my brother <laughs> watches so he is just like you know he is the one who does all the things so i just watch what he is watching so yeah we are kind of like a marvel fan so we do watch things kind of like around those things but yeah i mean most of the times i don't really like watching uh, like tvs and series and yeah it's just just sleeping okay. is what i love to be honest okay great so moving on to the uh, uh, our followers segment where our followers can uh, you know ask you questions and we will address so we'll take first question from abhi 80064 what he is asking that rudima ma'am how i joined as a climate activist at high level that was uh, my next question that if someone wants to do something for climate or for you know just to save our environment or just to be a mm-hmm. volunteer for you so how anybody can join you i mean for me i'm trying to build up this network where you know kids can i mean kids and people can join me and we are trying to build up you know different projects in terms of whether it's plantation or whether it's you know clean ups or all that stuff uh, but it's still you know process that's going on because it's just me and my dad you know sort of working planning and you know sorting things out but i can say um, rather than that working on high level i don't know how you can get there because i just started from very small i just started um, sort of um, you know my very first action was uh, doing a petition and then gradually i just went on and on and on and then i just gradually i just came up to this level if you think this is the high level then you know it's just you know it's just going to take you some time of working in this field getting to know more people and you know building up your network and everything so i feel like you know just just i guess you know at the very end even if you want to do things in a very high level you have to at the very end you have to start from the very basics like changing your own lifestyle and you know 
sort of working from smaller places like working from your entire like your own lifestyle or your house and then you know gradually moving forward so i can say that's what i can suggest and yeah just 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 doing your best that's the only thing that i can suggest when you want to go on yeah just start first just start वो कहते हैं ना आप बढ़ो आगे और फिर कारवा बनता चला जाता है है ना तो आप आपका आ, क्या सजेशन रहेगा पेरेंट्स के लिए दोज आर यंग पेरेंट्स यू नो हैविंग देयर किड्स लाइक वन और टू ईयर और थ्री ईयर और यू नो इवन द पेरेंट्स ऑफ टीन क्या उनको इनिशिएट लेना चाहिए उनको अपने बच्चों को वट वट शुड बी द फर्स्ट थिंग दे शुड टेल दैम ओके दिस इज फॉर एनवायरमेंट आई कैन से this is what i have learned from my friend uh, she's alien so she's from amsterdam so she's a filmmaker and she recently been um and she's been the person i just really love how she is i mean she's not she doesn't call herself an activist or someone but she's a, she's vegan she works a lot in terms of you know she have made some incredible documentaries on you know um like saving animals and all that stuff so i feel like you know um and it's since the beginning she has been the one who goes to strikes and now uh, she is just you know training her son you know in terms of best of what he can do i mean taking him to like natural places and you know taking him on walks and you know cycling around with him you know he's like a really very small he's just like one i guess right now but yeah she takes him on right she takes uh, him to like you know uh, different places connected to like environment and you know exposing him you know to just see the nature since childhood and you know um so i feel like you know it's really important for the parents to you know um in terms of you know give exposure to their kids and you know take them to natural places and like you know take them to forest areas and you know take them to say for example lakes or something you know it doesn't have to be fancy places and you know you can just take them to a garden say for example and you know just make them realize how happy it is you know how happy they feel when they are around trees and you know why it is important and then you know just just supporting their kids in terms of whatever they want to do you know because most of the time uh, when people or kids do work in this field parents don't really support their kids so i feel like you know for the parents whose kids are teenagers if your kids are into this just support them please because at the very end it's going kind to of, you know determine their life their money or you know even you know this good marks and grades are not going to save us from climate crisis it's just going to be our actions um and if your kid is not into this then you know i guess you have to change the way you're parenting them so yeah i mean it's really important for you to make them realize in terms of you know, the importance of environment and you know just them being teenager it would be easier for you to make them understand and i guess they would be able to understand these things because they're studying like even if it's just a little they know what environment is they know what conservation is so it's just that you know you have to make them realize what it, it what uh, what is its importance and how it is going to impact their life at the very end but yeah at the very end i'm going to just be like you know to those parents that you know um just be as supportive as, as you can and just give the best exposure of environment to your kids as you can because that's really going to change the things and you know just teaching them from the beginning to respect the environment is something which i would really love to see from the parents yes parenting is the biggest task of this era i would say uh, how does it feel to be a global icon at such age you must be aankhon ka tara for your parents i sans i think and adding to this question my next question is let's talk about your media coverage okay you are on magazines you have been covered by so many you know brands so what what is the feeling that you are getting covered by such brand names what is the experience what is the feeling how do you feel <laughs> <laughs> i mean i really like working with you know so for example we did this project with ikea as well and you know just working with l or vogue i mean it's something which i know it's really big um but yeah i mean i really like working with all those things and yeah i'm really glad i just never really imagined myself you know being mentioned in vogue or you know working with l and being mentioned in their magazines and all that stuff so it's something which was like okay this is happening this is happening i must have done yeah. something good then 
Yeah, okay, something is happening. Something is um, happening. But yeah, I mean, rather than that, when it comes to my parents, I mean, my brother says this a lot that uh, my parents like me a little more, and you know, all that <laughs> stuff. And he does get a little overwhelmed with you know me traveling everywhere and you know doing all that stuff. But yeah, but at the very end, when he sees me struggle, even with you know. um the studies or when you know there are moments when i have this breakdown and you know i don't know why but i always break down in front of my brother because i share all the things with him so it would be that you know he'd be complaining about something in terms of like you know okay you have such a great life you're traveling you know you skip your exams you know you don't have to study and all that stuff you know yes that favoritism somewhere you know he feels like that's what is happening and at that point of moment i would be just so filled with all the things that i would just end up crying and he'll be like it's okay i understand how difficult it is roma please and i'm like yes it is very <laughs> difficult as well so yeah i mean i i do try my best and i do get scolded a lot by my parents because yeah i mean they expect a lot from me so i mean when i do get you know okay i don't want to work and you know i don't want to do this and i'm just so stressed up with the meetings and everything they like it's it's something that you chose so you know just continue with that so i mean i mean i chose to be an activist but they are the ones who just make me keep going because most of the time i'm like i am just done here i just can't do this anymore so yeah i mean they give me break for few days but that when those few days become weeks and i don't end up working it's just that you know you need that strict parenting lines you know those those typical dialogues that they make which makes you realize okay i have to work so yeah <laughs> that happens with me as well i'm not someone who is treated like okay i'm i'm not like that i mean i i i do get scolded a lot and i'm like not a great person but yeah i mean it really means a lot you know being covered on those magazines and everything and yeah it just makes me feel you know i should just work more and more because now these many people know me and you know i've been mentioned in there so i don't just don't want to prove people wrong yeah. uh, that no i'm not working and i'm not It's a doing sense my of best responsibility yeah. right yeah yeah so tanu is constantly yeah tanu is constantly with us Snayu Sansta with the yeah. uh, account of Snayu Sansta, she is Tanu, so she is constantly with us. Okay, thank you, Tanu, for being there. Okay, let's talk about your Norway experience. You were there as a speaker. First thing, tell us the experience mm -hmm. of that. Secondly, uh, adding to that question is your experience with Pop Francis. I mean, that was the great opportunity you had. Tell us something about it. I am very curious and excited about it. <laughs> I mean exactly when I went to uh, Norway um uh, it was kind of like you know similar to how we usually did things I mean how I usually went outside and we did talks and everything but that was my first time you know I I did I guess uh, a panel or something um so yeah I mean being with the other kid uh, like other people not kids but like being with other people and sharing things with them and then being at that expo and you know just just seeing so many solutions within um and you know just seeing all those ideas coming from you know either waste management or either you know connected to somewhere you know like stopping climate change or reducing you know the wastes and you know um sort of reducing the emissions and everything it was just like you know a lot for me to absorb and a lot for me to understand but yeah it was a really something really amazing and i'm just you know got to know this amazing this amazing number of people whom uh, most of them i'm still in contact with um and yeah i mean um going to rome and even working on the letter meeting the pope it's i don't know i mean it it just happened i mean i didn't knew that i was so the fun fact is that i didn't knew that i was part of a film we were shooting the film and i i thought it was a documentary or stuff that i usually used to do um and then while we were shooting they just said that i have i i have this letter they have this letter for me which they want to read they want me to read and when i read that i read about um that you know pope knows about me i was like okay and <laughs> then it was like you know he wants to have a private audience with the you know five of us like basically you know us representing different voices and you know him wanting me to represent the voices of the youth i was like this is something big and it was like point when the covid was happening and then they were like you know you are invited to give your response in person i was like okay i i guess i'm going to rome okay and then i was like you know how am i going to get there because it's covid so i mean just going to rome 
to meet the pope was a very stressful thing on its own getting the visas and everything it was just an entire mess you know because we had to get this permissions from the ministry of health and everything so it was a really difficult process but i can say being there being with him talking to him it just made me realize that you know there are world leaders you know leaders like him as well those who really want to change things and i see when i when i saw him talk when i saw him relate and when i saw him respond to what we were talking about he just felt so happy that you know he was listening to us he wanted a solution and him being a religious leader you know he want he talks about climate change a lot he talks about crisis he talks about you know inclusivity uh, like sort of you know having um, all the communities together and he talks about all the species and everything and respecting each other and you know uh, having peace and harmony it was something which i was a really great fan of and yeah i mean when when i met him meeting the pope and when i when i started going to this catholic communities i realized how big of a thing it was and how great opportunity i had and you know all that stuff so yeah i mean it's still something which seems like you know it's kind of like unreal for me even even till now but yeah that was one of the most great experiences and you know one of the great projects you know the letter was one of the great projects that i've worked on in my entire life and yeah i i just learned a lot from that i can say we are so proud of you ritima it was yeah, a thanks. great moment for us also कि आप उनसे मिले आपने इंडिया को रिप्रेजेंट किया इट्स अ बिग डील आई मीन माय नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज रिलेटेड टू यू आपने यू आर फ्रॉम हरिद्वार राइट आई एम फ्रॉम देहरादून वी आर स्मॉल टाउन तो आपको क्या लगता है इतना सब कुछ अचीव कर लेना एक स्मॉल टाउन गर्ल के लिए इज इट अ टाइम दैट हैज बीन चेंज दैट वी हैव लॉट्स ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटीज एंड वी जस्ट हैव टू ग्रैब दैम एंड यू नो जस्ट यू जस्ट डोंट हैव टू वेट फॉर द राइट अपॉर्चुनिटी और इट्स जस्ट नॉट द एक्सक्यूज इन राइट नाउ दैट यू आर नॉट फ्रॉम अ मेट्रो सिटी यू नो सिटीजन सो वट्स योर टेक ऑन दैट द टाइम इज फेवरेबल फॉर एवरीबडी राइट yeah i feel like um when these kind of things happen um i mean say for example you know within us i feel like you know there could be some people those who have a lot of caliber in them but they didn't got a platform and there could be some people like us who get the platform so i feel like at the very end it can't be like you know that you are a small town or so using it for an excuse because most of the people do have um you know to face a problem just because they are from small towns so they don't really know about the opportunities or they don't know how to use them um so i feel like you know these things do still exist you know in some parts um but uh, rather than that i mean i mean where like the field that i am in i feel like you know um it just totally depended on how i worked and how you know with whom i worked um but i feel like when it comes to different fields i feel like you know at the very end you have to do your best um even if you are from a small town or for, from a big town because at the very end if you are you know good enough you would eventually um get to your destination that's if that's how i can put that um so i feel like uh things like this might exist i mean i, I don't really know if how to properly answer that but i feel like you know these are the things that people do face problems with but yeah i mean you have to work your best you have to do your best as well you know you can't just be like you know i am from a small town so i can't really work on big things you know you can work on big things you know it's just have to be you have to work a little extra harder you know when you don't really yeah. know the opportunities around you but yeah it's just yeah. like you know if you work hard you will eventually get to the point it's just a fire that you just have to go with it aapko ye nahi sochna hai ki theek hai main yahan small town se hu log kya sochenge or my family is supporting me or not if you are right just go for it right mujhe aisa lagta hai opportunities yeah. to hai we can do wonders on internet too but hum yahi pe soch ke reh jate hain ki agar main karungi to मैं कैसे फेस करूंगी हाउ आई एम गोइंग टू टेक दिस फर्दर और अगर मैं फेल हुई तो क्या होगा I mean, these are the questions mm-hmm. that overcome you. Okay, moving on to the followers' request. Please, guys, don't send me any request to just go live because 
वो हम नहीं कर पाएंगे बट जस्ट यू कैन राइट डाउन योर क्वेश्चन इन द कमेंट बॉक्स वी विल एड्रेस इट सो वन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम प्रबल एट नाइन फाइव फोर आई वॉन्ट टू डू समथिंग फॉर प्लेनेट बट आई डोंट नो हाउ कैन आई डू इट द सेम थिंग वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट राइट प्रतिमा Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I mean, things that I said earlier. I guess that's what you can do. And to be honest, I myself, I don't really know how to guide people because things could be really different. I might suggest you clean the beaches, and you are living <laughs> up in the hills. So yeah, yeah, I mean, it depends on you know. Just analyze your surroundings and just analyze in terms of how you can work and what's the best thing that you can work on. and just gradually you know as you walk on just trust me that you will understand each and everything and you'll just get to just be like you know okay i should work on this next and next and next so you will just understand and you will start understanding what the things are how you have to work it's just that you have to start at the very end and the best part is you have already taken the first step that you are thinking even you know to do something yeah, for exactly. environment yes mm -hmm. so from the head you just just convert it into the action what i can say okay now my my next question is the future plans you have already done too much yaar log itna bhi nahi kar pate itne age mein chodo puri life mein nahi kar pate jo aapne already achieve kar liya hai so my question is what is next yaar future plan kya hai i mean right now i'm very clueless in terms of what <laughs> focusing on your study first right Yeah, exactly. Passing the eleventh grade is something that I have in my mind right now. It's just that you know, passing my UTs because I didn't got times to study, and right now I'm just close less in terms of how I'm gonna survive. But yeah, I mean, my I guess I I really want to go out um, in terms of you know studying when it comes to my university. So I'm trying my best in terms of going um, out of India for university, like studying uh, there and then coming back with you know. some great advices and great knowledge and maybe you know having a nicer building a community there and coming to india and working on those things but yeah i mean i definitely want to work continue working in the same field that's it that is something that i have in my mind for sure that you know i would be in the same community i might shift from being an activist to being you know a ground like a researcher or you know something you know but i don't really know right now i mean i'm really curious i'm i'm really into marine biology these days just because of greg and robin from the letter <laughs> when i met those guys i was like marine biology is really interesting and you know seeing all those visuals and everything <laughs> you're popping like, around right now just here be there be there yes yeah but yeah something that i have like very straight forward in my mind is that i really want to go out of india um for like my further studies but yeah i mean being in the same field i don't know whether it's going to be environment science it's going to be something like i don't know zoology botany something but yeah something so i would think the very and i have to do something okay so here is my question my next question from your future plan to jab aap soch rahe hain bahar jaane ke liye study karne ke liye which is a great idea to wahan par rehte hue aap india ke liye kaise kaam karoge and uh, aap jab wapas aoge tab ka koi plan hai ya aap wahi par ja ke settle hone wale ho wahan se yahan kaam karne wale ho abhi right now i have never thought about all these things to be honest i am just a person who just make short term plans and work on that because i guess this is because i'm an activist we don't like long term plans <laughs> but ah, yeah right. i i i can say um right now i think that once i go there i would uh, like working how kaise main india ke liye work karungi i don't know just because when i would be there i would be studying so i would focus on that like getting as much knowledge knowledge as i can and after that i don't know i mean i guess i might come back to india and i would start working here maybe with certain kinds of organizations or you know having one of my own or working on my own organization or you know um say working with an organization based there but working in india so i i don't really know i mean something i mean but whatever I, I don't it really is know in terms of, whatever it is yeah it's exactly be, it's it's really grateful for our environment for sure because we have rhythm upon yeah. it with us so i hope so <laughs> yes so what we do rhythm we just you know take out and bring out the life journeys of 
the real heroes like you, like you are an inspiration for our society, for our young ones, for everybody out there who are living, who are just, you know, existing. So that's what we do because, you know, uh, you can't say like that, कौन किसको कितना इंस्पायर करेगा कोई किसी को भी इंस्पायर कर सकता है वी कैन जस्ट इम्बाइव एनी थिंग फ्रॉम एनी वेयर एनी वन तो दैट्स द होल सोल मोटो ऑफ सो कोल्ड क्वींस so that's why we call you up and we are so glad that you are here with us you had you know said already too many suggestions too many learnings with us and one of them is like negligence is one of the biggest issue in our country that we are you know just neglecting the things those are in front of us mm-hmm. so that's what i learned today lack of action is the most डेंजरस प्रॉब्लम वी आर फेसिंग क्योंकि बाकी जो प्रॉब्लम है वो ऑलरेडी हम सबको पता है लेकिन एक यही ऐसी प्रॉब्लम है जो हमें जो हम कर रहे हैं बट हमें नहीं पता है एनवायरमेंट के बारे में आजकल सबको पता है वी शुड नॉट यूज प्लास्टिक वी शुड गो फॉर यू नो सस्टेनेबल फैशन सबको सब सब कुछ आता है एनिमल क्रूरल्टी नहीं होनी चाहिए वी शुड नॉट कट आर ट्रीज वी शुड गो फॉर यू नो सम एक्शन बट करता कोई नहीं है दैट इज द मेन इशू और आप हो तो क्या गम है आप जैसे और बच्चे निकलेंगे और जैसे यंगस्टर्स आएंगे एंड वी आर सो प्राउड ऑफ यू ऐसा लगता है कि नहीं आर फ्यूचर इज इन सेफ हैंड्स एट लीस्ट एट लीस्ट यू आर यू आर डूइंग समथिंग टू जस्ट ओपन द आईज फॉर अदर्स सो हाउ हाउ डिड यू फील विद मी और विद दास मी एंड तनु मी एंड आई रियली फेल्ट रियली ग्रेट आवर कन्वर्सेशन स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम आई गेस tense um like activist questions and then we ended up talking like you know just just <laughs> knowing that i am a sleepy person <laughs> so yeah i mean it was really great and i'm you know just just how you said we are trying for so long just to do this and seeing it finally happening i'm like oh my god i'm so glad that we are finally doing it today and yeah, yeah. i just really love talking to you i just really love when it's like uh, you know I don't know I mean I I don't know if I can call myself a woman just just like you know a girl to girl conversation you know yeah. <laughs> someone who's trying to bring up a change you know just working for a social cause and you know at the very end I mean your goal and my goal is just the same just making people aware and motivating them to do their best in any way possible so I feel like yeah I mean I I just really loved being here and talking to you yes same you I'm so proud of you <laughs> you are like a cutest bachcha i have ever seen okay so the last uh, last compliment from uh, vinicius vinicius okay hamare grab ki dekhbhal karne mein aapka yogdan ke liye badhai main para se hu kafik dada ki bhumi aur maine film the letter dekhi hai jiska aap hissa the pop francis ke sath aapka yogdan bahut sundar hai thank you so much oh, yes tanu it was an awesome session and you know i was missing you a lot a lot a lot anyways hum khud ko waise invite kar lete hain ritma koi hum invite kare ya na kare as we are from the same same state so we are finally meeting very soon <laughs> isse pehle ki aap india se bahar jaoge usse pehle main aapse milungi zarur right main aur tanu dono aayenge aapse milne because haridwar there are don't kitni dur hai yaar so yeah exactly. hum bhi aayenge fir aap bhi aana fir hum milenge fir hum bahut sari baatein karenge ek interview mein sari baatein kaise ho sakti hai we gonna send you one more request for sure aur hum bahut sari baatein karenge because this is the best topic hum is pe baatein karte hi reh sakte hain puri raat bhi baatein kar sakte hain aur ye khatam nahi hoga kyunki abhi bhi itne sare questions hai like mujhe fashion ke bare mein poochha tha mujhe sustainability lifestyle ke bare mein aapse poochha tha minimalistic lifestyle ke bare mein poochha tha there is a lot of questions i have in my mind but due to shortage of you know time and you are a student and i can totally get it ki 11th or 12th mein kitni padhai karni padti hai kyunki jab main 12th mein thi na to main sochti thi yaar ya to wo log sukhi hai jinhone 12th kar li hai ya wo log sukhi hai jo abhi 12th mein nahi hai they are the only happy people in the world and i am the worst <laughs> yes i am at worst phase aur mujhe ye sab kuch bhugatna pad raha hai ab ya to main ek saal ke baad sukhi hongi या गॉड नाउज अगर मैं फेल हो गई तो ज्यादा खुश खुश हो जाऊंगी आई वॉज लाइक दैट क्राइसिस आई वॉज ऑन दैट एज 
तो या आई कैन टोटली गेट इट फिर मैंने हाँ मैंने और तरुण ने फिर ग्रेजुएशन में भी बायो का साथ नहीं छोड़ा तो इट्स अ लॉन्ग स्टोरी विल डेफिनेटली मीट विल डेफिनेटली शेयर एंड आई जस्ट लव यू आई जस्ट लव यू गर्ल एंड आई एम सो प्राउड ऑफ यू अगेन एंड अगेन वाई आई एम सेंग इज बिकॉज आई एम सेंग इट फ्रॉम द कोर ऑफ माई हार्ट राइट मुझे सच में ऐसा लगता है कि yeah. आप जैसा बच्चा होना चाहिए हर एक घर में होना चाहिए क्योंकि हमारे इंडिया को बहुत जरूरत है इसकी एंड जो पेरेंट्स हैं आजकल के वो अपने बच्चों को बना सकते हैं वी कैन हैव द रिटमा इन ईच हाउस इफ वी वांट एज अ पेरेंट यस तो यस तनु <laughs> so guys <laughs> i'm going to save this live on igtv and on youtube very soon on igtv right now so you just don't feel like okay i joined late how i missed nothing you gonna miss you can just watch the live i'm going to save it on instagram do share it more and more and more not for us for you guys for our youth for our children those are watching out there and just do something better with instagram with internet or any platform you know you can do wonders with the internet you know to acha kijiye achhi cheeze baatiye achhi cheeze kijiye kyunki faltu mein kuch bhi share karne se kuch bhi nahi milta that's what i think to the dimag ko bahut sara pyar dijiye aur dimag ko bahut sara wish Give you luck, and I'm wishing you very good luck, Radhima, for all your future plans, mm-hmm. for all what is in your head, because I know it's it's gonna flourish. जो भी है अच्छा ही होगा. So do whatever you want, and God will make it true. Thank you so much, Radhima, uh, for your you. time. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Good night. Bye.